Hi guys, this time I'm gonna review a great and very capable Android mini PC powered by an Intel CPU. It comes from Minix, the best mini PC manufacturer to date, and it is the Neo Z64. There is a Windows 8.1 version as well, which I reviewed in a previous video, but this time I'm gonna focus on its Android little brother. Once again, Minix gives us high quality packaging and it includes the Minix Neo Z64 itself, an IR remote controller, the 5V 3 amps power adapter, the HDMI cable, a USB cable, a Minix product brochure, and a Moodle language setup guide. The device is made from high quality plastic with a black color and a made feel on the hand. The build quality is truly excellent as we would expect from a Minix product and on the top we can see the Minix logo carved on the plastic with big letters. Looking on the front we see the IR receiver and the blue operation LED indicating that the Z64 is up and running. On the left side we only have the external adjustable Wi-Fi antenna and on the right side we find the power on off button, a micro SD card slot and two USB 2.0 ports. The remaining ports are on the back sides and they are a 3.5mm headphone jack, an HDMI output, the Ethernet port and the DC input rated at 5V. And if we flip it upside down on the bottom we see a shiny Android logo and the reset hole. When the device has finished booting into the UI, we're presented with a familiar Minix launcher, which is a good thing because this launcher is very simple to use and it isn't full of useless features which get the user confused. So on the top left corner we see our connection status and we have two top bars which we can drag down and view notifications and power controls. Of course, the Minix launcher is consisted of big tile-like folders in which we can add the applications we like and on the bottom we find the favorites button which allows us to create shortcuts for our most used apps. If we press the settings style, we go to the stock Android settings and from here we can see that the Minix Neo Z64A is running Android 4.4.4 which according to Minix will later be updated to Android 5. Since the device has an Intel CPU, we have the option to use the Intel Smart Video feature which improves video quality by reducing noise and eliminating artifacts with interlaced content. We can also add different users to the system and mess with the HDMI settings and if you find that the system is lagging, which is highly impossible, you can and always use the task killer found on the home screen. The app drawer is also present as well as a screenshot button, a boot menu and the ability to hide the taskbar. Of course you can use another launcher if you like, I chose Nova Launcher because it has the stock Android feeling, it's easy to use and it has lots of features like adding widgets or using your favorite light wallpaper as a background. Browsing the internet is very smooth thanks to the Intel CPU as well as watching videos on YouTube and accessing your files through the Minix file manager. According to CPU Z, the Minix Neo Z64A has some powerful specs which are an Intel Atom Batrial Z3735S CPU running at 1.83 GHz, an Intel HD Graphics GPU, 2GB of DDR3L RAM, 32GB of internal storage, a 1080p kernel and it also has root access. I ran some benchmarks to show you how the device performs. The first test is an Tutu benchmark and it gave me 30,857 points. Next I ran 3 Mark and got 7,665 points. An Tutu video tester shows us what the device can do and here are the results.
scared. You've only failed to see. These are dragon lands, Sintel. You are closer than you know. Cody runs very smooth and I trade some test videos for you to see the real life performance of the device. The first one is a 2160p file. Next a 2160p 30 frames mp4. Next a 2160p 60 frames mp4. Next the same video at 1080p h264 move. Next a 4K 96 frames MP4. Next a 1080p 120 Mbps MKV. Next a 1080p Blu-ray ISO. And finally a 1080p 5.1 Mbps H265 file and a 4K 17.6 Mbps H265 file. All the videos played very good with no problems, except from the last two H265 files, which were unwatchable due to very low frame rate. Gaming on the Neo Z64 is great, and you can use external gamepads like the Xbox 360 controller to play other platform games through emulators or Android games downloaded from the Google Play Store. The overall performance is very good, and the CPU and GPU can definitely keep up with the newer games out there. The Minix Neo Z64A is a very capable device and a very good media player. It is the best Android TV box with an Intel CPU on the market right now and I definitely recommend it to you because it has the best quality Minix is known for. Pros, powerful specs, nice design, build quality, high quality internal components, great Wi-Fi reception. Cons, only two USB 2.0 ports, you can solve it by using a USB hub though, choppy and unwatchable H265 video playback. I hope you liked my review, stay tuned for more and as always, for more unboxing reviews and tutorials, subscribe, share and follow me. Thanks and bye bye.